and welcome to We Vlog Any Car with me, Sheridan. And today I'm in the new Vauxhall Astra, the petrol version, the 1.2 litre turbo version. Over to the quick stats. The model used in this short video is the Astra GS line. Prices start from around £29,000 on the road. It is powered by a petrol 1.2 litre turbo three cylinder engine that produces around 128 brake horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque. Zero to 62 miles per hour takes 9.7 seconds and it has a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Fuel economy is around 51.4 miles per gallon. CO2 emissions is 124 grams per kilometer. And a huge thanks has to go to Bayless Vauxhall for allowing me to use their demo Astra for this short video. A link to their website is below. What really impresses me about this car, not only its looks, but it's two things, how it drives and the engine sound, which I hope you can hear. That's brilliant. Um, it, I find I just, I just happily going up and down through the gears just to get that engine sound. Don't get me wrong, in town, you know, driving at 30 miles an hour, which I'm coming into a 30 mile an hour zone now, you don't actually hear the engine, don't hear nothing to be honest with you. It goes very, 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 very quiet. Like, now, that's 26 miles an hour. I find that even when it goes into potholes, because there are lots of potholes around here, there's no fuss with the suspension. It just goes in the bump, back out, you carry on driving, everything's fine. Steering is, especially at low speeds, it's very light, okay? When you're driving faster, thankfully, it um, weights up to a level actually that's quite involving. So it's it's the steering is good. I like the steering, um, how it feels. And I also like this six speed gearbox because I find, because the armrest is high, I just put my elbow on the armrest and I find that I just flick through the gears so easy. I don't have to do anything really. It's just stroking it into each gear um, which will then add to the relaxing drive if you had to drive this car for a long you know long periods of time the seats hold me in really well they're not over bolstering you know like pinching me and hugging me they're just they're just right they're they're nice and kind of you got the, the right kind of movement so you can move around if you so wish um they're just holding me in all the the, the right positions in the right places so you know no issues whatsoever even with like the head restraint you can just like pop your head on if you so wish for me I've got this much headroom which is a lot um, I'm five foot eight and a bit I suppose leg room so I've got the driver's seat to how I was driving this car my knees once again loads of leg room and my feet actually just go underneath the front of the seat as well so it's plenty of, of leg room um, and space in here. Put it in second gear. It's on point. It just wants to go. Um, and obviously you get that lovely sound as well. That's fourth gear. I was doing um, 45 miles an hour, went up to 55. When you think of you know, the size of the engine, the size of this car as well actually. The engine's got a lot of spirit. Handling wise, see, with the hybrid, I was impressed on how the hybrid handled because I was thinking, well, you know, there's battery, there's weight in the bottom, um, or say the lower half of the car, so that would make it more stable. This does the same thing. It handles quite level and reassuring, which is, you know, that's good. The suspension, I suppose it's been tuned for the British roads. To be fair, driving this car, I've only been driving it for a short time, but it's it's kind of predictable on how it feels with its handling, how it, you know, how you go into corners and, and what have you. There aren't any surprises. I mean nasty surprises when I say surprises. Um, everything is pretty controlled the right word which yeah can't knock it that's 
real good job. Even you know the steering wheel, the steering wheel, where the position of the steering wheel is to my legs, which is all in a straight line, you're not all twisted up or anything like that. So that will also add to if you had to do a lot of miles, you can do it easily in this car. Easily. To be fair, like I was with the hybrid, I'm also very impressed with this as well and how it drives. Anyway guys, I hope you like this quick video. Um, if you've got any questions, just pop them down below. Um, if you like the video, please by all means give it a give it a little like. You know, if you haven't already, please give a subscribe or follow to the actual channel. There will be more uh, car reviews coming up with the car news. If you haven't already gone to the blog, please go to the blog, weblogandycar.co.uk for you know, new car news and things like that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Whatever you're driving, I really hope it's enjoyable. I will see you for the next video. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.